Hi guys, so a couple of days ago, I saw this request on the Web Squadron Facebook group about creating a post loop using the Elemental Loop Grid, which has two templates that alternate per row. So the first row has the templates one way, and then on the second row, it reverses order and it keeps alternating per row. So I thought this would be a good idea for a tutorial video. So let's see how we can achieve this design. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is David from DaveDen Web Dev. For this tutorial, we'll be using the following tools, which are the Elementor Container feature, the Elementor Loop Grid, the Elementor Alternate Template for the Loop Grid, and some custom CSS. So let's get into the page. So here we are on our Elementor Edit page. Now let's go ahead and drop in our Loop Grid widget into a new section. For this demo, I already went ahead and created the two templates, but if you would like to see how I created them, you can leave it in the comment section below. But we just go ahead and pick our templates that we've already created. So then let me just change the query. Then to make it look like the other design, I've just toggled the equal height to be on. Then now, if you can see from the example, we have now designed the first template. Now let's add in the second template. To get the alternate template, make sure you have the latest version of Elementor Pro installed. As you can see, there's a toggle that says apply alternate template. So when you toggle that on, we can now pick our second template. So we just open this up and then we choose the template that we've already created. Now we have to do some options. So first, once the position in the grid, we we'll set it to two. Then we don't want it to apply only once, we want to apply every second time. So we toggle this off. Then just let it span one. So if you see from the design now, you can imagine that there are three columns. The first one takes up two columns, while the second one takes up just one column. And you also notice that everything alternates so one two three four then it repeats that same standard so that's what we're going to be using so say it's repeating if everything was on the same side without repeating so like every row was the same all we'll have had to do is go back to our page and just simply set the alternate template to have a cold span of two it would have been perfect but unfortunately we want that on the second row everything should be reversed. For that, we'll have to use custom CSS. So let's remove this. Then we'll add in some custom CSS. And like I said, it repeats after the fourth item, the circle repeats. So this is how the custom CSS will look. If you go to the advanced tab and then custom CSS, the code will be in the description below. So you don't need to worry about it. So let's paste it in. And immediately you see, we got the design that we want. You can see from the example, one, two, three, four, then it alternates. That's how we get it here. So one, two, three, four, and then it alternates. And let me add in some more. So let's say we want 10 items. See, it keeps alternating. And yeah, that's all there is to it. It's nothing too difficult. You just need to apply the alternate templates and then use some custom CSS. If you have a better method, please do let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if this video has helped you, please leave a like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.